Welcome to the Windows and Computer Technology channel and uh, well more questions of course all the time about Windows 11 about the you know minimum requirements any changes um, so first things first everybody talking about you know TPM or that their processor isn't supported this is not going to change actually and this should actually stay pretty much the same for the next few weeks and uh, this um, probably will change and we'll learn more as we get closer to the um, the release date before that forget it there won't be really any uh, uh, any news I suspect they might have some changes I suspect that they might go a little bit you know um, a at least a generation uh, earlier for sure but for the rest, this is going to be uh, pretty much the same. For the TPM 2.0, they don't want to back down, and it obviously is for security, and that they want to make sure that Windows 11 is the most secure operating system. How is it going to come to your PC? For those that are wondering, well, you will one day have the uh, Windows updates, and in Windows updates, you're going to have Windows 11, that will show up as a possible update. It will be something that you got to opt in. Um, it's going to be something that you don't have absolutely to get. So you just leave it there if you don't want it. Um, dates of release. So there's a lot of little things happening. Uh, the first one is a lot of people are saying October. Microsoft itself has said, um, you know, around Christmas, for machines with the uh, Windows 11 operating system. For Windows 10 users, they won't see it in Windows updates before early next year. And for one thing that we know is that there's some documentations from Intel that seems to have leaked that October would be a release time. I would suspect this might have to do with the fact that somewhere around October or November, the new machines that have Windows 11 will actually come through so that we will know and um, as for the rest it's um, you know I don't know we, we, we can't really uh, say for now as Microsoft hasn't said anything like I said the minimum requirements stay to what they are right now hopefully um, that is going to uh, get um, uh, fixed maybe you know at least one more generation will be added we don't know but about the TPM 2.0, there's no real need to change that because all modern PCs have TPM 2.0 in some way in the processor. So uh, that's the news that we have and for uh, the questions that I wanted to answer today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.